So welcome everybody. Uh, Saturday, man, it's a gloomy day. Today I want to talk a little bit uh, about when you structure your company as a group level um, and why most companies structure those group level outside Africa. So it's going to be very interesting. I'm on my way to a meeting uh, right now, but we'll continue this video in a few. Bye. getting out of a very very interesting meeting um, that would allow us to expand uh, exponentially actually outside uh, the region East Africa but that uh, it's gonna be another vlog man what's up guys I'm back but today I want to talk more about um, group level if you can call it group level uh, when you structure a group level so basically when you expand in several countries um, you have to structure the group level and have subsidiary uh, in those countries of operation. So let's say you operate in Uganda and in Rwanda, then you need uh, a group level to control um, the whole structure, where all the fundings come from, where all the um, your, your, your core teams are. And one thing I've noticed, as you can tell, I always notice stuff. Uh, and I always share stuff that uh, uh, off norm uh, on the continent. But one thing I've noticed is uh, why is that all the group level are structured outside the continent? Why are they all uh, based, you know, in Europe, in the States? Some, of course, in Mauritius, uh, which is not bad, but, but, but why mostly, for example, a lot of group level that operate in Africa especially in a solar business, are based in London. And there's nothing, I mean, you know, companies are allowed to do whatever they want to do. That's not the point. But the point is, why don't we do group level in Africa? And I'm, I'm guilty as charged. I mean, this is not just uh, foreign companies, but it's also African companies. Um, and a lot has to do with taxes. You know, a lot has to do with incentive. A lot has to do with um, uh, trust, you know. We trust foreign governments or foreign structure, or foreign laws more than we trust our own. Um, we think it's more secure. We think the laws uh, are well protected or, or, or well serviced. But until we structure group level in Africa, it's going to be very difficult. Um, you know, to develop the continent because most of the funding on a group level comes to the group. And then the group uh, distributes some of that fund to the affiliate, to those uh, that are in different countries. So the most value uh, is developed on the group. Another thing is for technology company, the IP is owned by who? The IP, the intellectual property. Who owns the IP? The group. Not the affiliates, not the subsidiary companies. The group, you know? So the value of the group is huge and can be a huge benefit. But why don't we help? Uh, and when I say we, why don't African government push for, for giving incentive to those companies that want to develop a group? And another country also, Luxembourg. I met a company that have a structured group level. An African company have a, a structure in Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Um, I'm confusing French and English. Uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. And um, same thing. The incentive, the trust, the law that are, you know, they, they, they know most likely uh, their money are safe there. But a lot has to do also with, you know, not trusting um you know, the, 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 the countries of operation, African countries. Uh, because we always have this view that Africa is corrupt, uh, our, government, our money is going to be siphoned or our money is going to be blocked if we say something wrong. And some of them are true, some of them are just, 
you know, um, we think it outside the box, but to change that mindset will take some time. And, but, but the only way we can do it, uh, is, is to really bring incentive, not just to foreign companies, but to local companies, because again, we structuring a group in Mauritius, for example, um, because, and, and I'm being totally honest, when we approach investors, they're very reluctant to invest with us having an entity in Rwanda. Truth, you know? Investors, oh, where are you based? Rwanda, oh, wow, okay, we need to do a due diligence and that due diligence take forever. And then they say, well, the law, this, 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 this. Then we have to structure group level now outside to, to appease the investor because again, most of our investors uh, you know, from uh, from abroad, they're not from from Africa, so they want to be appeased. But another thing is about trust, uh, and also another structure. Truth be told, is about taxes. You know, we are uh, we are social impact company, so our social impact is first and foremost. Uh, the second thing, we are also a technology company, so we're trying to maximize the the, the money we raise, whether it's grants or um, investment to make sure that that money has the impact it's supposed to have. Now, if you have your money having to pay 20%, 30% of taxes, that's a, that's a problem. Now, the good news is Rwanda has a zero tax on investment, but that mindset is still not there for investors, at least my experience, might be somebody exp uh, somebody else experience. So, um, but if, if, if local government comes to companies that expand it, you know, and give incentive, I guarantee you there'll be much more group structure being developed in the country of operation. Because again, the group who owns the technology, what happened? If you have a structure, some 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 affiliate subsidiary in another country, those subsidiary has to send back at least some of those revenue back to the group. Because again, everything is built around the group, the equity. Uh, uh, the shareholder, they own the they own the group, not on the subsidiary stuff. You might have some invest on the subsidiary, but local invest, but on the group, that's the most important. So the group is where you want to incentivize to bring them back um, to the continent. And please do your research. Check all the top companies in Africa. Go to their website. Go at the bottom of their website. Just at the bottom, you'll see the address of their main office. That is that simple. You'll see the office and you'll be amazed by how many of them have structure of groups outside. And what that tells about the leader of those companies, you know, and I can't judge them. They have to do what's best for their, their company and their stakeholder, um, share, stakeholder, shareholders. So it's not about saying, oh, they're wrong and don't. Right. The, the, the question now I'm trying to ask you guys is how can we change this? How can we bring back those groups back to the countries of operation, back to the continent? Since we're serving the continent, how can we bring back to the continent those group level where the technology is owned in the group, where the money flows back to the continent and all those things? What is your idea? And what is your comment about you know this, this, uh, this issue? Do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong or you don't care? You know, I would love to see your comment on, the, uh, on those things, guys.